Hi, Jill Smith, Aussie author, or on YouTube, Jill writes book reviews. I'm just going over on a theme this time, um, over the next few days, of uh, Karen Turrell's books. Now, Karen started with me and her memoir of madness, and, um, and then followed on with um, me and him, a guide to recovery. Uh, so basically, that was because she had issues when she was a teacher and she had a bit of a mental breakdown. And, uh, and the first one is obviously about her journey through that and how um, she recovered. And the second one was about her and her husband, Steve, and Steve's journey through the same issues. Um, and they are really good books. I haven't actually got them to hold up and show you because I've actually given them away because they're such good books. I like to give good books to people who I know will read them. Okay, so the next thing she's written and uh, a different area are things like um, children's books that are self-help. And she wrote um, in the same sort of thing. Um, she's written um, Bailey Beats the Blah. Okay, and that's the one I'll read today, Bailey Beats the Blah. And that's the, um, in here. And uh, basically that's about how uh, a young boy um, goes through his life and feels down and depressed and how he gets through it and uh, and it's, it's again everything she does is all self-help and uh, it is really good so um the illustrations are good um i'll just actually read that i've got um she she did sign it for me <laughs> okay so baby beats the blah in loving memory of gloria jean cox june cox i should say Bailey hated his new school. He buried his head deep into his soft, warm pillow. Fuzzy slobbered all over Bailey's face. Blah! Go away, Fuzzy! You can see him going, blah! Come on, Bailey, Mum said. It's time to get up. Bailey stared at his homework lying on his desk. Mummy, my tummy hurts. Bailey, you must go to school today. See, she's saying, you've got to go. Bailey dragged himself out of bed, tumbled onto the floor. His wobbly legs carried him to the bathroom. He looked at his sad face in the mirror. Blah, he said to his reflection. So he feels really blah. Bailey slumped over his bowl of rice bubbles. His fruit juice slopped onto his chin. He clutched at his squirming stomach. Mum, I really feel sick. Bailey took his shoes outside and put them on. They were his special sneakers with stars and rockets. He shoved Fuzzy away. Blah, leave me alone. Okay, so I won't read the whole book, but as you can tell, the illustrations are great. He was feeling very blah, and then how did he get back to feeling good? Okay, I think it's because he had friends. So you need to actually have a read of this if you've got young children who feel a little bit depressed or scared, and it's a good one to share with them and may help them to make them feel good. So I will put the full review of that on my blog, and I'll also put in the two um, uh, memoirs as well, so you can see all three. And then tomorrow I'll go on with a few more of hers. Um, she's actually got about six books that I've got here that I'll go over one at a time. Some of them are bigger books. This is this is a picture book, obviously, and uh, the next one I'm reading is a picture book. But after that, they're uh, sort of more uh, middle-aged books. So um, you have a great day. Thank you very much for listening. Please um, comment if you can on uh, Jill Wright's book reviews on the YouTube or on um, or on uh, my blog. Uh, Jill Smith, Aussie author. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.